So who has a question with total confusion right now? I want to hear from someone real quick that doesn't, that, that's lost or doesn't understand it or is trying to figure something out. Uh, okay, this gentleman over here who's really buff, so I hope it's... So, so I've been having an awesome time so far. My awesome. mother's been to a few of your, her events. My father's been to a few of it. And so, uh, and it's, it's really uplifting and I, I think... Your, your approach is incredible and, Thank and you. comedic and, and, and nice. But I did get lost with the water and the ice, and it kind of dropped me off, and I was, was kind of following, and then I, I, I understood the, I Were guess. Were you trying to wrap your mind around it? I was trying to, yeah. Yeah, ice tries to wrap its mind around it. Okay, that makes that's, sense. Yeah, that's I, what ice I, do. Ice tries to wrap its mind around it so that it can get smaller. I want to get this concept into my small brain versus becoming the thing that you need to become to understand that in your body. Because people understand that only here. Almost all the content that I say is coming from my heart. So you can only understand this in your heart. You actually can't understand this with your mind because it's death to everything that you were before, right? So it's not that you need to become water like it's something that your ego can do. It's something that you are. What do you think when I say that? I. I agree, mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I have you know, a lot of similar belief systems, but I'm trying to attach, I guess, the, the stories, the clutter, the... the Why? The, the mini, I, uh, maybe to break them down one at a time, or to... Mm -hmm. Compartmentalize absorb. It? Yeah. I, Let them just show up. What are the stories that show up in that space? Um, I, I mean, what's, what's some of my, my stuff? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I've listened to a lot of other people and there's a lot of similar things. I mean, I have, I have a 13-year-old son who lives in Arizona. I don't uh -huh. see nearly enough. Um, okay. I got a second DUI in 10 years um, that, in, that I've enabled to not, uh, let not, I, don't, I haven't fixed that problem. So I understand those and, and I really yeah. respect those and honor those, but what does that have to do with you being water and not ice? Uh, Help me with that. Like, show me how they combine to you. Those are glaciers. No, um. <laughs> uh, no, I, I it's, it's broad. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm kind of not missing the boat. Um, or Who's missing the boat? You or your old, the boat. hold on. You or your old story is missing the boat. My old story is missing. Right. The boat. Right. So you were able to say that. Mm -hmm. What does that feel like? It feels good. It feels like a start. Yeah. Oh, a start. Okay. So now what do you feel right now? You just said this is a start. Tell me about that. Um, I want to I wanna, uh, just break this stuff down. I, I, I want to... Do you think it's your job to break it down? I think I'm the only one that it fell on. Do you think you break it down or do you think that it will break itself down? I think Do you I think break it down. ice can break itself or water can break ice? I and if that's the case, is there anything for you to do at all? Um, Other than waiting? Yeah, I think there's things I can do. Yes, but do you think it's you that's going to break that story down? Do you understand what I'm saying? Your ego, is it going to do it? Or is it something that will break itself down on its own? Are you with me so far? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Who's with me on this? Do you think that life isn't going to figure out how to take care of itself without you? Do we all, are we that arrogant? <laughs> to think that every circumstance is here for us to judge it, control it, and try to change it? Or can we just be a space and let that problem exist for a minute without you thinking it's your job to fix it? Because every time you try to fix it, you recreate it. You're implying there's a problem. The truth is your situation is that you haven't seen your kid in a while and that you've had a DUI. Your problem is you think that's not okay. So you're arguing with what is, which constantly keeps you in the old story, but it's a fact that that has happened. So if that happened, your job is instead to totally be okay with it, not in a way where you're gonna keep doing it. In fact, if you resist it, it's going to keep happening. 
If you resist how long it's been since you've seen your kid, your child, son, do you say? Yes. If you resist that, what happens? Immediately you feel you're not enough, and a not enough person isn't even worthy of seeing him for longer. Right? The more you resist it, the more that you're going to keep doing that because you think that it's not okay. But if you actually understand the reason you didn't see him in the past was because you didn't know any better than now, you didn't feel worthy, you got a lot of love for feeling unworthy, you have clearly by looking at your body, you overcome things. <laughs> right? You're good at missions, you. you're good at goal setting, right? You're good not at really. making it happen. <laughs> I, I've, I've missed some goals early and I thought that was a, a waste of time to fail something. Right, so I, you I judge failing goals. because you think failing is a thing. You think failing actually is a thing. Someone said to me once, what if I fail? I go, what do you mean? They said, well, if I get on an elevator like you said and I hit on someone and then they don't like it, they, I said, you didn't fail, you said the right thing and you actually disqualified the person from being out of alignment with you for the rest of your life. <laughs> you didn't fail, <laughs> right? Failing is not a thing. If we ran this event, if we do the Kodak Theater, or now it's the Dolby Theater, and no one shows up, I didn't fail. I showed up, and I did everything I could so that I could get that learning experience out of it, right? There's no such thing as failing. But if you judge it, then you're gonna say, I'm a failure, I'm a shitty dad, I'm gonna feel like crap about it, I'm gonna get drunk and drive, I'm gonna do all kinds of shit because I think that I'm not enough only based on not the situation that's happened, but that you think that shouldn't have happened. It did because there was a you in the past that didn't know any better. So now you're gonna forgive that guy. What does that feel like? It feels good. Yeah. How much better of a father would you be if you can forgive yourself and bring a forgiven guy to your son so that he can forgive himself because you've been through it too? What do you think? Yeah, I... I... Maybe that shit happened, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, maybe that's happened <laughs> so that you could bring a new level of forgiveness to your son in the future when he does something that he thinks is a mistake. And maybe if you don't forgive you, you will bring in more pain, more shame, and more judgment to him because you think that you shouldn't have done stuff, so you'll think everyone shouldn't do stuff. You think your son doesn't have a right to make mistakes? Do you think you don't have a right to make mistakes? Do you think you don't have a right to make a mistake and then learn from it? Do you think a mistake is here for you to judge it or for you to grow? Do you even think it's a mistake? How's it going? <laughs> Just swaying in your wind, man. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I get... I get so into this and I, I, I have to move sometimes. Like I have to do this thing, right? Because I'm just so into what's coming through. Yeah, come on up. Sure. Yeah. I'll come up. Yeah, come up just for a second. Just for a second. So tell me about you, what you feel or felt until this event about you not seeing your child, your son, for a while. Uh, what have you felt constant about Constant guilt. Constant guilt. Okay. And what has that done for you? Um, it puts me in a bad mood. Right, it gives you permission to stay the same too. Sure. Here's what guilt is. Guilt is when you do something and then you learn that you shouldn't have done it because you did it. You had to do it so you could learn that you shouldn't have done it. And then a third you shows up and expects the first you to have known what the second you figured out. <laughs> but you had to do the first thing to learn the second thing because you can't see how incredible of a father you're about to become because of the shit that you're going to forgive in yourself. Doesn't that excite you? It excites me. Yeah. So, now it goes from that runs me to that's a choice. That's a choice for him if he's going to stay mad at him. He thought it was the, tr the truth at one point, but now it's a choice. What's that feel like? Relieving. Yeah. <laughs> the last two people have had a very chill, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Are you handing your son's weed out to everyone? <laughs> that's the solution. Let's get everyone stoned in here. 
Because with both Gloria and you, the contrast of energy from me to you is, I'm like, isn't that the greatest? And you're like, oh, yeah. That is a thing that happened too. Well, I, 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 just if I may, it's still pending. I mean, it's still there. So I mean, cool. I know that being the water. Because it, you think it shouldn't be there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's good. Yeah. That's fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. good. Thank you. Yes. All right. Don't love the thought so you can get rid of it. Instead, handle and walk around with that boulder today that shows up. Let it be there. Yeah, but it's not working. Let that be there. I don't know what I'm doing. Let it be there. This is stupid. Let it be there. Just let it sit there. Walk around with confusion. Confusion is the doorway. Right? Yeah. So are you totally confused? Slightly less confused. Slightly less confused. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm less confused. So. That thing that had come up a second ago, is it still there? No. No, because you loved it. It left in 10 seconds. Right? Right. Is that cool? Fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, tell me about something that you regret that you have been holding on to or you shouldn't have done that you want to share if it's like a huge, like there's a bomb in the backyard. Like, I don't want that. Like. Uh, years ago, you know, my father went through a quintuple bypass surgery and I chose to, to numb myself and, and let my parents go through that physically. I mean, I was 30 miles away. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that transcended a lot of uh, not being with my, you know, my family on a consistent basis. Like I was guilty about not being there in important times. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so, right, because you believe that you were required to do that. To some degree, yes, yes. Yeah. Who told you that? Who says you were supposed to be? I mean, yeah, it would have been nice, but who says that's how it should have been? What does that even mean? Television taught me. Television so taught you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, you know, the family archetype, or, I mean, it's yeah. just, I, I just, you know, think Did that, your dad give you crap for that? Did he say you should have they been? They were actually him? really, really, well, my dad was, you know, in his getting prepped and whatnot, but yeah. my parents were very understanding that I, you need to do, handle it my way. Well, that, and so honor that. They I were did. understanding anyway. They were fine with it. So why beat yourself up? Family is very important, so I, I just, yeah. That's... Family is very important, but the unconscious belief is every time someone's going through something, you're a piece of shit if you're not there. True. Right? That's the feeling. Wasn't that moan cool? The whole room, oh. <laughs> Like a sea of holy shit wave, like, <laughs> oh, 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 It's not even a belief that you should be there. It's that you're a piece of shit if you didn't go there, right? Where does that come from, that self-judgment and self-hate? Hmm. It's not even that you should have been there. It's that you're a terrible person, right? What did you think? What were the thoughts you thought? I'm a what for not going to that? I just thought I was selfish. Selfish? Just, yeah. You're selfish if you don't go to that, right? Yes. Now, I understand a lot of people are like, yes, hmm, you should have been there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you did the very best you could with what you understood. It was overwhelming for you at the time. Let me ask you this. Right now, if you had to have a quintuple bypass surgery and your 13-year-old didn't show up, would you be mad at him? Or would you think maybe it's just overwhelming for him? That's a, yeah, I, I would not be mad at him for anything, so. Right, would you feel he didn't love you? Would you feel you're not enough because of him? Would you feel, what were the things you've said to yourself because you missed out on that surgery? Um. Honestly, it was just the foreboding possibility of, of something worse happening, mm -hmm. and, and thankfully that did not. Yes. Um, but I, I, I just feel like it wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been whole with this situation. I would mm -hmm. have you know, been the whole, it would have been gapped. It would have just not felt. Right. So if you had quintuple bypass surgery and your 13-year-old son didn't show up and you passed away, would you expect him to feel not whole? Would you want him to feel lack forever? 
I would not want that. I would not project that, but I, I So why do you want that, that for you? Um, television. <laughs> uh, no, I, um, it's, it's, it's actually it's, hilarious. Uh, sorry. What would you want your son to know if you passed away and he missed your quintuple bypass surgery? What would you want to him to know from the other side if you saw him suffering about it? What would you tell him? That it's okay. Yeah. That what else? He, that he was always more than enough, you know? Yeah. Tell me more. Because um, I want to make sure you're hearing it. Well, I just, I, I would tell him that I, I, you know, that my appearance in his life wasn't a reflection of how I felt about him and, uh, you know, that take care of yourself. Eat yeah. healthy. <laughs> uh, yeah, just that it's okay. So do you I, notice yeah. that both things you've said are guilt about not having an appearance somewhere? You both feel bad that you don't have an appearance at your dad in the hospital and you don't have an appearance at your son enough. You constantly think you should be somewhere that you're not. Would you say that's true? I would definitely say that. Yeah. So you have addictively been in the practice of thinking you should be somewhere else. Would you agree with that? Yes. I would agree with that. Yeah. Please wait for the stenographer. <laughs> <laughs> Type faster. <laughs> so, excellent. So, now, how has that helped you to live in a world where you think you should be somewhere else? I feel like I need to breathe and I need to let that go and do what I can to, rem uh, to not, not feel that way. So I, I... Let me ask you this. Where should you be only? The best place for me. Which is? Yet to be determined. No. Okay. <laughs> Let me get one right. Uh, get one right. Because I'm a piece of shit if I get it wrong. Right? There's one place that you should be. Guess where it is. And this is the only thing you need to take with you. There's one place you should be. Always. Do you know what it is? Where I am? Yes. Yogi Berra, that's a good quote. That's the only place you should be. So what would you be like if you were okay with where you are instead of always thinking addictively that you should be somewhere else? I feel like I'd be a nucleus for good things. Yeah. Yeah. And how, what lesson would you have for your son? By the way, had you not had the DUI, and had you not had a few extreme things, would you be thinking that life is about being somewhere else and unconsciously teach your son that even though you showed up all the time, you unconsciously give him this constant guilt that he should always be somewhere that he's not and he would have missed out on his life? Maybe that shit was supposed to happen so you can realize it from this place right now and teach him he's perfect where he is. Yes. Right? Absolutely. So, how do you feel right now? Pretty amazing. Yeah. Is that shit still floating around? That pain, yeah, but do I not get it? Swiftly dissipating. Yes. <laughs> what about um, all that ice that you didn't understand and the ice and the water thing? What about that? I am the glass. Yeah! Give him a round of applause. That was beautiful. That was beautiful.